Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Abhinav and uh, in this video today we'll see about the DME process for uh, Tamil Nadu FMGs. So already in our channel we have already talked about how to apply for uh, internship after completing FMGE and I've also talked about uh, how to apply for a private hospital, how to apply for government headquarters and how to apply for government medical colleges. So the private colleges, it's very, the process is very easy and simple. For the headquarters, I've already mentioned the process. You can check it in the link that is shown above. And for the government medical colleges, the process is a bit tedious. So we'll have to go through a few extra steps in order to join a government medical college for one year internship program. So in this video, I've talked about the process, uh, how to apply, where to apply and what to pay and all those things. Now, this video I have made it with uh, collecting the information that I have uh, received from my friends. So, when you, are when you are doing your processes, you'll have to be extra careful and you will also make sure that you are doing the right thing. Okay, so whatever you do, you just check it, check it with the officials once. Okay. So now let's enter into the video. So we'll see about the DME process for Tamil Nadu FMGs after clearing foreign medical graduate exam. So first, after clearing the FMG and getting your uh, pass certificate, everything, what you will do is you will go to the Tamil Nadu Medical Council.org. Now this is the Tamil Nadu Medical Council website. And here you can see login and register. First, you will have to register yourself in TNMC website Then after registering and entering all your details, you will have to apply for the provisional eligibility certificate. Now to apply for the provisional eligibility certificate, you will be needing a set of documents such as other card, passport, photo, mark sheets, visa details, MCA eligibility certificate, NBE result mark sheets. MBBS documents, that is all your mark sheets that you have been scored in the college, your uh, CMB and embassy seal certificates and all those things. And you will also require 10,000 rupees to be paid for the provisional eligibility certificate. Now, once you have applied and paid for the provisional eligibility certificate, you will be seeing this uh, column in your uh, TNMC website. So first you will, you will uh, I will fill the basic details then you have paid the 10,000 rupees. Then you will have to wait for a few days. You will receive the online approval. Then you will be asked to choose a time slot. That is, you will have to choose a day. And on that day, you will have to go to Chennai. You will have to go to TNMC office and get your documents verified there. After getting your documents verified, your uh, provisional eligibility certificate will be sent to you in the email that you have provided. Okay, so then after getting your provisional eligibility certificate, what you will have to do is you will take that provisional eligibility certificate and go to the government medical hospital, which you want to do your one year internship program. Now go to that hospital, give all the documents that you have, take a, take a Xerox of all documents, give the Xerox and ask them to give you NOC as soon as possible. Because once you get the NOC, you can start uh, processing the other steps and uh, if you are doing it soon you can start your internship sooner okay so you yeah, after getting provisional eligibility certificate you have went to your hospital and you have got the noc okay so after getting noc now you will again have to come to the tamil nadu medical council website now what you will have to do is you will have to apply for the provisional certificate so previously we had applied for provisional eligibility certificate. Now this is provisional certificate. So in order to apply provisional certificate, what you will be needing is that you will have to upload your provisional eligibility certificate. You will have to upload NOC that you have received from your hospital. And now you'll have to pay an amount of thousand rupees. So again, after filling the details and paying, you'll be getting this online approval. And you'll have to choose a time slot. Now for getting the provisional certificate, you don't have to go to Chennai. You can get it directly in online itself, okay? Then now, this is the extra steps that you will have to do in order to join a government medical college 
which joining in a private medical college will not be needed so after getting your provisional certificate you will take all those documents uh, get a xerox copy of those take it to the mgr university at chennai now you will ha also have to write a letter requesting for uh, noc from mgr university okay then go after going there you will have to get a chalan for 3000 rupees in order to get noc from mgr university okay so now you have taken all your documents xerox and uh, you have written a letter for mgr university requesting them to provide you noc and you have also uh, asked for a chalan 3000 rupees after getting all these things you will have to submit everything at the mgr university reception now what if they will do is that they will collect all those documents and then they will ask you to wait for their call so what mgr university uh, page looks like is this is the uh, mgr university website tnmgrmu.ac.in so after this to pay the fees you will have to go to the online remittance systems and uh, payment gateway for students and others so what fees is that i'll just tell in a minute okay so if you see now after submitting all those documents they said that they will call you okay so after in one or two weeks time they will uh, make a call to you and they will ask you to pay 3 lakh 54000 rupees as the to get noc from mgr university now this amount will have to pay at this uh, medical website so online remittance system and on payment gateway for students and others so before paying this amount you just confirm it with the mgr university also they will call you so you can just confirm with them about where to pay and how to pay okay because this is quite a big amount so now you to call your documents to mgr university uh, wrote a noc i uh, wrote a letter asking them to provide you noc then you got a chalan for 3000 rupees and you submitted all those things they told that they will call you in weeks time so now they call you ask you to pay 3 lakh 54000 rupees and you have paid it what happens next so again in one week later you will receive another call from mgr university saying that your noc is ready now you just have to go to chennai and get your noc from mgr university okay now here comes the dme procedures now you will have to take all those documents all your documents from the beginning okay so take all those documents such as provisional eligibility certificate your mark 10th 12th mark sheets md documents everything take your original and also xerox the main documents which dme will be asking is your noc from your graduating college noc from hospital which you are about to join noc of mgr university plus all other documents so you will be asked to submit the documents and what they will say is you will receive a gu that is government order government order in one month time okay so they will get the documents and will tell you to wait for one more month so after one month you will receive a government order saying that you are ready to join in so and so government medical college so what you will do is you will take that gu take it to your uh, government medical hospital and then pay the fees there whatever the fees they ask you will have to pay it there and then you can start your internship happily <laughs> and all these doc all these uh, processes will take quite some time so you will have to be uh, a, little bit, a little bit patient and do all those things it will definitely be a very long process for you also so but whatever you join and experience in a government medical college it is going to be definitely worth it so all the best for everyone uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe thank you